Hello, Brother Monroe here. Welcome back to Ultimate Animal Dreadnoughts, where I made a boo-boo. Um, when I covered the Russian Super Battleship 2, uh, this thing, with these fire toy Nikolai, or whatever it was, um, in that video, I thought that this was the new Sovetsky Soyuz hull, but it's not. That is the modern Battleship 3, um, which goes from 63 to 83 thousand tons so very similar looking uh, the super battleship 2 is basically a bigger version but uh, it's modern battleship time good morning darby um i'm recording this live on twitch as usual now size wise seventy three thousand tons is pretty pretty enormous should we go for the minimum the smaller size let's go for yeah let's go for a 69, go for an even number, 69,000 tons, there we go. Right, towers, go for cheat one. Hmm, it's a nice looking thing. Do they all look the same? No, they don't. So we've got the three, the four, which comes with the cool little cranes. And then the five, which again doesn't. Interesting. Mm -mm -mm. Rear towers, we have the heavy, which has that funny little funnel emplacement I was having trouble with. And then, oh, we've got this enormous secondary tower complex. Now, I didn't use that before. I used the heavy because it's flat out better. But um, whoever said Russia made sense. Let's use this gigantic tower because it's fun. I mean, why not? Now, looking at this ship, I might go for an ABX layout on this thing. I know, it's huge. <laughs> Absolutely huge. Um, so, chat, it, it, so, command structure of a ship is very well known. Um, it depends on the Navy, but uh, obviously you've got the captain, and then you'll have a first officer, and that would be the, assuming the first officer is alive and the captain isn't, the first officer would take over. Um, then after that you've got the various command officers probably lieutenants um who'll have seniority so they'll they'll know who is in what order um uh, if they're all dead <laughs> then it'll go down to the the junior command ranks um even if the engineer is 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 higher ranked they don't take over the bridge bridge command because sometimes you can have like a commander as the chief engineer um, but they don't take over as commander of the ship, even though they're higher rank than the lieutenant now commanding the ship, if that makes any sense. Right, uh, guns. Let's see now. Ah, uh, yes, because this is 1936. We have all the guns, but let's let's pretend that this is a treaty ship and go for 16-inch guns. Uh, let's go for... Fit on a standard, they do. It just doesn't look right. Uh, what about an enlarged? Ah, that looks much better. Okay, I can I can live with that. Four weight offset, thirteen percent. That doesn't feel right. Ah, uh, 
Now that's more like it. Full weight offset is more like 2%. I should be able to offset that with some guns on the back or something. Uh, secondary guns. Can we fit any big ones, like 5 inch? No, not without me. Oh boy, these all fit 4 inch guns. Well, that's fun. Yeah, that's perfectly sensible. <laughs> yes, I have. I have had a look at some of the new, the new barbettes. Um, uh, they, they open up a lot of interesting possibilities with these smaller. Pulse. I'm just curious if there are any great spots to put them on this hull. Yeah. Kind of like that. <laughs> I know there's no point putting that one on a barbette, but it, it, it looks fun. So yeah, you can do all sorts of interesting things with that. Ooh, can we fit any of these new three-inch quad guns? Two-inch quad guns? Yeah, there we go. Get some uh, AA, AA guns in, basically. Damn, that's a lot of secondary firepower. <laughs> AA firewall. Yeah, exactly. Can you imagine approaching that as an aircraft? Because obviously, four-inch gun, definitely a, something you can build into an AA platform. Um, yikes. Okay, oil three, and let's go diesel. E 80 smoke? Wow, okay. Uh, two funnels, please. Yep, that'll do. Yeah, destroyers, beware. Good God. <laughs> yes, absolutely correct, uh, WA. It is a lot easier for the crew to uh, walk around on the deck uh, if, it, if the turret's up on a while bit. Uh, not that those little barbettes are very uh, heavy. They're only 15 tons. Um, I haven't even put anything on the back. Can this thing fit anything down on its quarter deck or is it completely useless? No, it's, it's completely useless. What about torpedo launches? Uh -huh. Helps with the uh, full weight offset a little bit. Especially if I make it huge. There we go. <laughs> That's how you balance your ship, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Just stick a, a rear torpedo launcher on. <laughs> Just in case you're running away. Right. Um, let's go standard bulk kids and medium range. As I have been for most of these. Uh, engine efficiency is pretty damn good. Hmm. 30 knots? No, not quite. 30 knots is going to be pushing it. We're going to be more like... Yeah, let's try 28. 100%. That'll do. Uh, we'll go for a seasoned crew, as I have been for all of these uh, testing videos. This is where we start getting a bit of slowdown. Uh, I definitely think for this era, Tube Powder 3 and the TNT 4 is a good combo. And going with the Super Heavy Shells. Yeah, getting that memory leak. 
Two percent flash by chance. It's not too bad. What happens if I reinforce the vault kids? One percent. Hey. You want some anti torpedo? Do actually now we've got quite a lot of weight left. Um, I'm gonna invest that in. I know it seems silly, but I'm gonna go for a uh, full on anti tort five and a double bottom hull because uh, we don't want this thing sinking to some uh, nonsense to do with a torpedo. Oh, yeah, this is where the game really. Starts having trouble. Uh, this is a bug in Alpha 12, but it seems a lot worse with some of the hulls in uh, the new core patch. I'll try my best with it. Uh, I do want a little bit more on the four belt because. Oh my goodness, slow down. Uh, the A turret is slightly vulnerable for that. So I want at least eight on there. Same for the four deck. Arm that up a little bit. I'm not going to do this super precisely because um, it's going to be tricky. Aft deck only two inch. Uh, it's 2.8 aft deck. Uh, this mm, shouldn't get hit on the aft deck. I think the aft deck is kind of kind of here and back. I think we'll be okay. Uh, superstructure armor, maybe. So wait. There. I'll do. Right, let's go. Uh... You tried crew setting a 50, you seem to work well enough. Um, I It's going to take me a while um, to figure out crew. <laughs> um, I just did a scenario where I went with trains, not even regular. It's not bad. Um, I, th I think 50 is okay. I think if you, if you have a crew crew rating of about 50... Uh, crew is 80 for this speed up, so it's, it's the same as all the other testing I'm doing. AC is the top end of seasoned, so it's not into veterans, um, which gives you pretty nice, it gives you almost all the bonuses of... Because uh, veterans is thirty percent accuracy, um, so all I'm do for all the testing hulls, I'm going eighty seasoned standard. I'm not fiddling around with anything else. Yeah, Taskmaster definitely, especially because uh, some of the upcoming Taskmasters next week involve crew <laughs> and uh, things like that. But yeah, the the cost difference between a rookie crew and a veteran crew uh, in custom battles is for a big battleship a hundred million <laughs> like something like that you know the cost dif difference is enormous um, like I saw some people on the discord having ships costing no I, I, I saw Stealth was building a ship on his stream last night and he had he, he was pushing half a billion dollars half a billion which is insane um so yeah you, you you can make ships very very expensive okay usa has a lot of guns on that ship all right Let's see how our russian ship does Let's get turned around it does look good though it does look good I love that. Oh. 
upswept bout. That that is a nice that's a nice feature, but I think the standout feature of this hull is the sheer number of secondary guns you can get on that tower. Not a lot of room though. It's a very tight design. No, I think this would do okay. 28 knots is, is not fast, but it's okay. About the same as a KG-5. Right, what has the USA got? 16 inch gun swell. Very nice. 14s on the battle cruiser, yep. Uh, Pretty normal looking heavy cruiser, although those torpedoes might be an issue. Kind of an AA style light cruiser. Okay. Bom, bom, bom. Yeah, over here? Yeah, 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 you're right. When you have the crew, the crew coming up as a separate message be nice if that was included in line. That would be a nice change, but uh... secondary is too aggressive. I could do, but it won't make much difference. It just affects what percent hit chance they need to open up. Ow. Took a couple of hits. Mm, bow bill. We did cause, yeah, we caused a partial bit there. Seven point eight percent. It's not bad. Chance to hit. Just not getting any. Uh, yeah, I. To be honest, with the crew damage, what I've noticed is you tend not to do too much in the way of crew damage. Um, what it does do is it reduces the effectiveness of the ship as it takes damage, which is fair enough. But um, I haven't actually noticed the crew going down significantly uh, before the ship sinks. Like, as in, like, getting them down to, like, 50% crew or anything like that. It seems to be just a few percent. Come on! They're getting way more hits than me. And they, 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 they've only got a 7.8. Rubbish. Look at this. They scored 14 hits. I've scored 4. Despite the fact that I have a better chance to hit. Okay, yes. I have one less barrel than them. But come on. Okay, they have a regular crew. Two powder TNT. Well, two powder, two TNT, three. 25 ish knots. Pretty slow. Lots of secondaries. Armour is... Ah, it's okay. Anything else that they've done really weirdly? Mm. Nah, looks pr pretty regular to me. Also have the Montana, the Battlecruiser. Chew Powder and Picric Acid. Interesting combination. Hmm. Ah, oh, thanks for you. There we go, finally scoring some hits in return. On the uh, Missouri. But 
so far in this exchange, we're not coming off particularly well. They're just getting a lot luckier than I am, and it feels that way. They're regularly getting hits, and I am not. <laughs> like, not even blocked or ricochets, because it shows you that now. When I have a higher chance to hit, and only one less barrel. That doesn't seem quite right. There we go. Overpen destroys secondary gun. Take a break after this scenario. I'll go and get get some food and a refill. Oh what? Oh my goodness. What are you on? There we go, 11% accuracy now, compared to his 8. There we go, 2 hits. Hmm, port starboard imbalance. Uh, a couple of the Russian, is it the Russian super battleship? The hulls on that. So you put the uh, towers on, uh, the funnels on the towers. I mean, um, you get a you get a port starboard imbalance, which is a bit weird. A couple of partials. Oh, I'll take it. Hits a hit. Again, uh, my accuracy is better than his, significantly, but they hit every salvo, and I don't. So, I'm missing something. About a 70% chance for each salvo to hit, and I'm missing like three or four in a row. <laughs> There we go, finally, and then I get three. Another one. I know I'm missing the enemy half more. A couple of partials. My chance per salvo is now 84% to score a hit. You're wondering where I'm looking. Uh, I can't really show it too easily, but it, it appears over here on the shoot info. So you have hit chance uh, 18 point whatever. And then it says salvo hit any of nine and gives you the percentage. Down to 48 percent structure, I'm on 58. But it's very much uh, luck of who hits who at the moment. 
the uh, seven inch guns and eight inch guns and things. Try and join in, but I think my armor is good enough to keep that out. Keep hitting his mid belt. There we go. More like it. Orange gun's still not in range. I know. Who gave them the vodka before the battle? <laughs> We're getting there, though. Oh, there we go. Finally, this sort of pizza should be getting. Rum. <laughs> yes, that's the secret, isn't it? Flooding hit. <laughs> Rush. Uh, yeah, vodka is ration. Actually, did did the Russian Navy issue alcohol ration? Uh, the Royal Navy uh, did at this in this at this point. See now, Missouri's maximum bulkhead. Now they've lost about twenty percent of their crew, uh, but they're only just starting to lose uh, crew. So it's mostly the secondary guns that they've lost the crew off. I think we're alone shells. Look how long this slug fest has been going on. Three hits. Look at that Missouri's like red everywhere. Not a single section of the ship that hasn't taken an absolute battering. Two percent. Sunk. Right, I didn't that took ages. Really, still with the misses. Like we have a 92% chance to hit that battle cruiser every time we fight. Miss. I just don't get it. Oh, although uh, <laughs> the uh, secondary guns have started opening up. Uh, 
and uh, causing quite a lot of problems on the New Orleans. Which is uh, actually blocking the Craven. Oh, I would prefer you fight it. Yeah, the AI does like coming a lot closer. Uh, New Orleans has, yeah, it's a light cruiser with no armor. Craven is, <laughs> yeah, definitely uh, living up to their name, hiding behind the light cruiser. On fire, like a lot. Oh. <laughs> I mean, that's one way of finally putting an end to the New Orleans. Use the 16 inch guns. Craven fire her torpedoes at some point. If her torpedo launches even work, hard to tell. They look pretty blackened. Kill the captain. Chicago have torpedoes, yeah it does. Torpedo launch from the destroyer. Oh my word. Okay, the uh, Montana suffering pretty badly. Uh, all guns on the Chicago, please. She just fired torps. That did a lot of damage, basically just blew off the front of the ship. There are the torpedoes, we are probably going to take a hit in that case. But see how much closer the uh, AI has to get now, in order to actually score a hit with torpedoes. That is a nice change. How big are those torps, Chicago? 21. Hmm. Hmm. Chicago sunk. Oh, still take one, pretty sure, but uh, that's a lot better than four, that's what I was worried about. There you go. Oh, it just did hardly anything. Okay, torpedo belt doing a good job there. Montana, wow, <laughs> I just saw how many two-inch guns the Montana.
Okay. I think a couple more salvos will do it. Even with all that damage that Montana's taken, they they've only taken 13% losses to their to their crew. I, I think that's going to be a lot. Crew loss is going to be a lot more of a factor in the campaign. When you have, to, even if you win, you're going to have to replace your crew. And that could prove to be a very expensive endeavor. Down goes the Montana. Well, that wasn't too bad. Hmm. I think I got a bit unlucky with the uh, early exchange. But, uh, yeah, I thought that was uh, decent. Nice ship. Uh, but as shown, I mean, I could shred the light cruiser and the destroyer pretty easily with those four-inch guns. But um, the... Uh, the heavy could, when it decided to, make a suicidal charge in with tools, even though it didn't, didn't do that much damage. Anyway, hope you enjoyed that one, those of you on YouTube, and I'll see you again soon for some more Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts. Bye-bye.